All right, what's up, everybody? Timor Ultima. I'm coming at you with number three in my random create a class series. Um, as I always do, I'm going to randomize my custom class creator ten times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so we got Salt Strike Package with the MK14, which uh, just being a uh, a single shot assault rifle is not. I mean, not a bolt action, obviously, but, you know, just not my strongest uh, primary. Stinger, I've never used a Stinger in this Prestige, and I'm, I think I'm in level 70s now, so I, I don't use a, a Stinger very often. I've never used it with an Assault Strike Package. That's normally something I do with um, with my Support Strike Package, but Blind Eye, Quick Draw, and Marksman... Uh, I mean, I've used Marksman before. I like it. Uh, usually, I run with Dead Silence as my third perk, so it's it's nice to see that I've got um, something different for perk three. I always use Quick Draw, but I'm I kind of flip flop between Blind Eye and Sleight of Hand for my perk one. Uh, lethal and Tactical Simtex Concussion. Um, normally, I use a Claymore for my prime for my lethal because I do a lot of free for all and I like to cover my ass. So I'm if I'm trying to hold down two two different streets or something like that um concussions are good and juiced i don't really find useful well maybe in objective games i will okay so yeah this class is interesting um i'll go ahead and accept this one and uh although i'm not too excited about the stinger but I, i'll try and you know that's a that's a free point towards my point streak so um always you know not, not too bad uh for my point streaks predator missile so i got uav Predator Missile, and then Precision Airstrike. Uh, three, five, and six. I don't really, especially in objective-based games, I hate using the Predator Missile and I, when I have like a number six point streak because especially when everybody's crowding around an objective, you're almost guaranteed to get a double kill with your Predator Missile. So if I was going to do three, five, and anything, I would do like three, five, and seven, or three, five, and eight, or nine, but... I guess better be safe than sorry. And if you're playing objectives, I guess you could just lay down a precision airstrike right on a on the B flag or something like that, try and soften it up for your team. But anyway, uh, this is the class I'm going to be going with, guys. Um, you know, maybe I'll play some domination, maybe some demolition, or I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, I'm not really sure what the game type is going to be, but we're going to go ahead and flip over to that now. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, this is number three. I'll probably do three more after this. Um, if you have any suggestions or comments or questions, uh, as always, please uh, comment or uh, you know send me a message on YouTube or Twitter, Facebook, uh, however you want to get a hold of me. And thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Here we go. So as you can see, I uh, ended up playing a game of Kill Confirmed on Lockdown. I tried some Demolition and had a little bit of luck, but nothing too fantastic. I also played a little bit of Domination as well. Um, as you see, I'm actually using the MP7 class right now, and you'll see me switch uh, to the MK14 at the last minute. I was kind of having rhythm issues tonight or something. I, I thought I would just play a game with the MP7 to kind of get my head back in the right place, but uh, I decided, screw it, let's just keep going. Um, you know, practice makes permanent, so... Uh, Hopefully uh, I could just kind of get into it and kind of <laughs> improve. I don't know. It, M MK14 for me is a really difficult weapon to use, so uh, I actually get lucky here and, and do end up doing pretty well. So um, MK14, obviously. I uh, used it for a few games and unlocked the Red Dot Sight, which I think is pretty critical on this weapon. The irons are just really... Um, they're not user-friendly, really, in my opinion. I hear somebody come and start back up. Oh, no, he got me. But that's that's uh, the life of a full auto versus a single shot. But, yeah, so I um, got the red dot, and luckily this class had quick draw on it because, you know, if you're using, like, a full auto assault rifle, you can start shooting and then begin aiming down the sight. Like, it's not like start shooting, one, two, then aim down the sight. I mean, you can do that, too, but... Uh, you know, your odds of getting the kill are not really affected by the slight delay between when you start shooting and when you aim down the sight. But with this gun and having to pull the trigger every single time you want to shoot, I just, maybe it's just me, but it, it's difficult for me to start shooting, you know, hip fire spray and then aim down the sight w once I've already kind of tried to start getting a rhythm going, firing the weapon. So um, being able to aim down the sight quickly is, I mean, it's just... I think if you're going to try and do well with this weapon, you probably need a quick draw as your as your tier 2 perk. You're going to see me knife this window a few times uh, because I don't like looking through the fuzziness of it. And uh, 
I could have shot through it, I'm sure, but I didn't want to reveal where I was. So uh, this is going to be a host migration, so sorry for the brief blackout. Um, I did actually get a quick hit marker on that guy through the window. As far as I can tell, the um, MK-14 is, is almost a one-shot kill um, from most distances as long as you put it right in their head the first time. Um, you know, I haven't experimented with it, but I've taken some pretty long shots uh, in the past with this weapon and um, gotten a one-shot kill. So um, you're seeing me play a little bit more defensive here. Um, it's not like I'm dropping tags and, and then just leaving them, hoping someone's going to get them. But, um, you know, I, I do try and keep my encounters pretty long range because just up close, I mean, shotguns, SMGs, pretty much any gun can take this gun out uh, if you don't have the jump on them. So uh, that's what I'm trying to maintain. <laughs> I thought uh, I had originally had it in my head for some reason that I had the SMA launcher on my class there. So that's why I switched to my <laughs> uh, stinger uh, for a second. Then I was like, whoop, nope, that's not what I have. So uh, anyway, blind eye uh, is also on this class. Um, luckily, I don't. I guess unfortunately it really is what it is. Um, I don't really need to use it that often. Uh, they had one Osprey Gunner come in later, but I don't think there were any choppers or payloads or anything, or there might have been, but since I was using Blind Eye, I just wasn't wasn't thinking about it. I'm not really sure. Um, but then Marksman, I think on this weapon, I think Marksman is actually a pretty good perk to have because you're not going to be trying to sneak up on anybody with this gun. I mean, running and gunning, you know, is possible, but I mean... Close quarters, you're you're in big trouble. Even, I mean, even medium distance quarters, uh, you're you need to have the jump if you're going to win, and that just doesn't say scream out to me. Uh, you need to be dead silent, for instance, uh, to to do well with this weapon. So, especially if you just quick put quick two rounds down range and get the kill on somebody, um, I think having marksmen is a really good perk to use with this gun. I would recommend it, you know, over and over. Um, Strike package I have, like I said, it's uh, the UAV, then the Predator missile. I can't believe I get, oh, maybe I get one kill, yeah. Yeah, I get one kill, but I, <laughs> there were a lot more kills to be had there, but I get taken out by a few FMG9s, my favorite weapon to get killed by, that's for sure. Um, you know, I try and decide, I mean, the lethal with the Semtex, I mean, I like Semtex. If I'm going to use a grenade, I usually use Semtex. Um, it's a little more difficult to use in objective-based games because there's a set, like the fuse on it is much shorter and it sticks, obviously. I mean, Semtex sticks to anything it touches. Um, so it's it's difficult to bounce it into rooms. I mean, it's not difficult. It's impossible. You can't do it. Um, or for objective-based games with that long fuse on the frag grenade, sometimes it's nice to have that because, uh, you know, you, you get a, a frag up and over a building to, to take out people who are trying to take B, for instance. Or, I mean, there are just a number of different situations where it would really be helpful to have um, some more time for your grenade to get where it's going. Um, and with the Semtex, I don't know, you obviously don't have it. Its blast radius is actually smaller than the frag, I believe. Uh, a little smaller, in at least in Black Ops. The uh, It wasn't a major difference. It might have been like two or three meters or something. T-Mart did... Um, a frag versus Semtex video, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, I mean, he's an awesome commentator, but I would have done the analysis a little bit differently. But, I mean, how, how are you going to hate on T-Mart? The, the guy's uh, a genius, and he puts a lot of work into what he does. So, um, And I was happy to see his see his video because I, I found it useful. And not only useful, I found it interesting too. So uh, that's a, a balance that people have to strike, and he does a great job doing it. Now, that guy right there, Okay, I, right now, I wasn't sure until just now when I saw the mini-map here, I, as I'm doing this commentary, um, there was no blue name over that guy's head that ran out the door uh, just before I went to look down that hallway, and I, so I wasn't really sure. Uh, was that a friend, you know, an enemy that just did not see me, or what was the deal? Um, and then there's another case later on, I think, where I could have sworn, um, you know, there was a, a name over my teammate's head, uh, but here... Or no, that there was no name over um, what turned out to be a teammate's head. Uh, so I actually took a shot at my teammate. But in the video, when I you know watched it and I was recording this gameplay afterward, his name was there. So I'm not really sure what the, the deal was with that. But um, nice little spot for the precision airstrike, I'm hoping. Um, I think I do get at least one kill. There's one. And then I guess I got another one as well. So 
or maybe not. I don't know. But I thought that was a good spot because there are two tags. Um, and in Kill Confirmed, people typically um, run together. So if they see a bunch of enemy tags or friendly tags that have been dropped by enemies, um, you know, typically they try and rush up and, you know, and deny those kills. And since they were both still up there, I was thinking maybe there's some teammates on the enemy side running up on those tags and I might be able to get one, maybe two kills. Um, but actually just looking at it here, it looks like I didn't get any, but I don't think anybody could hate on me for where I put that precision airstrike. Um, <laughs> this looks awful right here. Like I missed like seven shots. Um, I guarantee you when I was actually playing the game, it looked like I was a lot closer to hitting him <laughs> than I was there. Um, but that's just going to be, um, a difference between, uh, live gameplay and, uh, the way it ends up getting rendered for theater. Um, but yeah, that guy tried to drop down on me, and <laughs> unfortunately for him, I already knew where he was coming from. So I get a hit marker down there with the second concussion, so I just I lob a Semtex, just hoping and praying, but I'm guessing that enemy was further away because I didn't get a hit, hit marker from that uh, that Semtex. So um, I'm doing what I can here, really trying to confirm as many kills as I can. Um, like I said, it's, this is not... A big rush class and this is going to be my one stinger kill coming up here I'm trying to take out that escort airdrop um, but I see the uh, care package chopper instead and uh, like I said it wasn't worth it because I got killed uh, right on right as soon as I got it so <laughs> this guy here was probably pretty mad uh, I took quite a few shots but I was able to drop down and I might check this later just for my own curiosity I won't bother talking about it again but at that range I wonder if he would have had a name over his head if I hadn't had marksman because, uh, I mean, that is that is a pretty good range uh, to hit somebody from, but um, I know in some cases, like when I'm looking at that, when I'm in that building that I'm looking at right now, and I'm looking across uh, the center of the map where the B flag is, um, at those windows where people like to go up and snipe, this is really funny, <laughs> that sniper comes back for me, and he must have come around the corner scoped in, because he didn't see me he was looking straight over me and I thought I was had a ch I was gonna have a chance to kill him but I didn't so I get him in the payback and then I get his friend right there um, but it, it was it was funny I was like oh baby come on come on but um, I just could not get my weapon up fast enough like I had the trigger pulled but as I was standing up I guess it, it was just a little bit slow and that was unfortunate so um, I got a challenge a little while back in this game of um, 25 kills with marksman holding your breath, but I'm not holding my breath with this assault rifle. So uh, if you want to get marksman pro, just use it with an assault rifle. I mean, because I guess if you're not using a weapon that you can hold your breath with, like if I had thermal, for instance, I would have to hold my breath using marksman. But um, I guess if you don't have an ability to hold your breath and you're using marksman, they give it to you anyway, uh, as if you were holding your breath. So anyway, guys, uh, that's my take on this class. You know, actually not so bad. I, I liked it a lot. Um, what you're going to see on screen here in a couple of seconds are links to my first two random gameplays. The first class, uh, the random gameplay I did was a kill confirm game on hard hat with the P90. And the second was my really fun game of Team Defender I played on Baccarat with the ACR 6.8. So please click on either one of those links. Um, really appreciate uh, you taking the time to watch my stuff. If you have comments or recommendations uh, for what you want me to do, I'd really appreciate hearing those as well. So you can either leave me a comment or contact me on Twitter or Facebook or send me a message here on YouTube. Uh, if you'd like what you've seen, please, guys, um, you know, subscribe. There's a little link there in the top left corner for you to click if you like it. And otherwise, I'll be in the works with another random class game. I've got a few more to go in this series, so hopefully you like it. Thanks for watching, and have a great night.